so in the coming weeks, we are expecting to see the RTX 4070 launch. I've had a lot of customers come to me pretty recently asking if it's a good idea to upgrade from the RTX 3070 to the RTX 4070. Let's talk about it. So if there's one thing I learned from all these years of building and generation after generation of hardware, is that people who are buying computer parts like to buy the same class part every time they want to upgrade. In other words, if you're buying a 2060, then you're probably buying a 3060. If you're buying a 3070, then you might be looking at a 4070. So right now, all we really have to go off of is leaks and information we are getting from other sources. But if we look at the 4070 Ti's 60 SMs and compare it to the RTX 3090 Ti's 84 SMs, you can see the difference between the Ampere and the Lovelace architecture. 84 is roughly equal to the 60 on Lovelace. So if we go and look at the RTX 4070's leaked specifications, we can see that the estimated number is 46. What is the other graphics card currently available that has 46 equivalent SMs? That is the RTX 3080 with 68 SMs, and these are Ampere, so they would be equivalent to the Lovelace SMs, meaning that you're basically getting an RTX 3080 for potentially $700 or more. Two years later, this is a 14 game average from TechSpot, which is a very reputable company. But if you look at the difference between the two cards, the 3070 to the 3080, you're seeing a 22% difference on average. So the 4070 might be a little bit faster than that. Let's say it's a 30% difference, which would be a decent upgrade. But do you really want to pay 200 more dollars for potentially 22 to 30% more performance over the last generation, especially considering a used RTX 3080 right now is around $500. Now, of course, there is the argument for DLSS3, which is a really awesome tech. Um, it's not something that a lot of people will use, especially in esports or games that are high FPS like shooter games. But in games like Cyberpunk and stuff, it's a pretty cool piece of tech. That being said, let's talk about the RAM. We have 12 gigs of RAM. What card also came out a couple years ago with 12 gigs of RAM after originally having 10 gigs of RAM? That's the RTX 3080 12 gig. So essentially, you're getting a $700 RTX 3080 12 gig in 2023. So we all know that the board partners or AIBs add their own price tag on top of these cards. And for the 4070 Ti, for an example here, you see most of them hang around that $850 price range. So if Nvidia launches the card, the 4070 at $700 MSRP or 699 for the Founders Edition, you're going to see most board partners asking probably $750 to $800, which is insane. I actually was mind blown when I saw Moore's Law is Dead's leak on this. Um, if it's true, it might not be true. It could be one of those things where Nvidia changes it at the last second. They have done that before. But I would say if you're in a situation where you're looking at these two cards, it would make way more sense to go mow a few more lawns and make and buy a $850 or $800 4070 Ti over the uh, 4070 non-Ti. The other problem that this card has, just like its bigger cousin, the 4070 Ti, is that it has the 192-bit bus versus the older cards from Ampere having the 256-bit bus. And for the most part, most gamers and people are not really going to care about this. It's mostly just tech enthusiasts like yourself and I who really care about this stuff. And it kind of seems backwards for Nvidia to do stuff like this. But at the end of the day, the card is going to be faster. The SM strength is higher. The actual card is just overall a better card than last gen. It's just only better if the price is right. And this time, I believe the price is gonna be wrong. So what I'm gonna tell you guys here, you most likely already know. You don't need to upgrade. If you're still on last gen tech like the 3070 or the 3070 Ti from Ampere, 
that's a very powerful card. I know it has 8 gigs of RAM versus the 12 gigs, but that really doesn't matter too much, especially if you're playing at 1440p. I did make another video talking about the 4060 Ti, kind of complaining about it only having 8 gigs of RAM, but that's because we're going into 2023 and they should not be launching a 500, possibly $500 card with 8 gigs of RAM. And that's my problem with that, but that's a whole different video. So all I really wanna say is don't buy this new card. Just stick with what you have. This generation is a skip generation. If you're not going out to buy the 4090 and you're not on the bleeding edge, and you don't have the money to spend there, do not go out and buy the RTX 4070. If you made it to the end, thank you so much. If you liked the video, feel free to give it a like. Um, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. And keep your RTX 3070. Bye, guys.